Your new Oregon chainsaw is going to be a really handy tool to get all those jobs around the yard done safely and swiftly. I'm Steve and I'm going to show you how to put it together and start using it. Firstly, it is crucial you read through your instruction manual. There is a lot of safety advice in there which you need to know. Once you've unpacked everything, your first task is to attach the bar and chain. Always wear gloves when handling the chain as it is very sharp. So let's get cracking. Attaching the bar and chain. First make sure the chain brake lever is in the disengaged position. Loosen and remove the bar locking nuts and the clutch cover from the saw. Remove the metal spacer. Here's the adjusting pin. The adjusting pin and screw is used to adjust the tension of the chain. Turn the adjusting screw by hand counterclockwise until the adjusting pin just touches the stop. This should allow the pin to be in the correct position. Fit the metal spacer to the bar bolts. Carefully remove the chain from the package. Hold the chain with the drive links as shown. Check the chain direction. The cutters must face in direction of rotation. These are the teeth and these are the guiders. Align the guiders into the groove around the nose of the chain bar. Check that it slides smoothly. Here's the sprocket. Grab the chain and bar and hold them together in place like this. Fit the chain over the sprocket guiding the locking studs through the centre opening of the chain bar like this. Pull the guide bar forward until the chain is snug in the guide bar groove. Ensure all drive links are in the bar groove. Now, install clutch cover, making sure the adjusting pin is positioned in the lower hole in the guide bar. Install bar nuts and finger tighten only. Do not fully tighten these nuts yet, as we have to first adjust the chain tension, which I'll show you now. Chain tension. First, we'll check the tension. Checking the tension. Using the screwdriver end of the chain adjustment tool, move the chain around the guide bar. If the chain does not rotate, it is too tight. If the chain is too loose, it will sag below the bar like this. Chain tension is very important. If the chain is too loose, the chain could jump off the guide bar and result in serious injury. Chains stretch during use, especially the first few times you use your saw. Always check the chain tension every time you use and refuel your saw. If you haven't already, loosen the bar nuts until they are finger tight. If the chain was too loose, then turn the adjusting screw clockwise until the chain firmly contacts the bottom of the guide bar rail. Using the bar tool, Roll the chain around the guide bar to ensure all links are in the bar groove. If you need to loosen it, just turn the screw anti-clockwise. Once it is the correct tension, lift the nose of the chain bar while at the same time tightening the bar nut securely with the bar tool. Now, there are a few very important things you need to know before running your machine. But please, if you have not used a chainsaw before, read your manual fully. Fuel. You'll need to pre-mix the fuel first. The machine runs on a mixture of unleaded petrol and two-stroke oil at a ratio of 40 to 1. You need to also add chain oil. A lack of oil will result in damage. Remember to refill your oil every time you refuel.